Okay, guys. Olympic judoka versus boxer. And I don't have any information on the boxer, but this judoka won bronze at the 2012 Olympics. So very high-level judoka, at least in the Olympic type. And then let's see what happens. The boxer trying to jab. Oh, got him with a cross. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Judoka felt that. Look at that. Look at that. He's had that look. See, he has that look of, oh my god, I've been punched in the face for the first time. See? He's pausing it. He's stopping it. Look at this. See? He's stopping it. Guys, you see what I'm talking about? It's never that simple. It's not like the grappler always wins 80% or 90% of the time. I just made a contradiction. Grappler always wins 80% 90%. It's not like the grappler wins 80 or 90% of the time. This is a clear example. High-level grappler took a punch to the face. He's like, uh -huh. So, this grappler's name is Chu Jun Ho. He's around 35 now, but in 2012, he was at his peak. He won bronze at the London Olympic Games. He was at the 66 kilogram category. Let's look at what happens next. Okay, so now a quick break, and let's see how Judoka adapts. Okay, Judoka's like, I gotta go in. I cannot be on any sort of receiving range of his punches. He's trying. He's going in head first. Oh, nice angles by Boxer. Look at that. Look at that little... Kind of a check hook he did. Dude, Judoka has no idea how to enter, man. Oh, he took another cross. Oh, ooh, ooh, ow. And look at this ref. This ref's feeling concerned. Come on, Judoka. Grab, at least grab his hand. Grab his glove. Unless there's a rule against grabbing his glove. You can grab something, man. Judoka now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I got Judoka. <laughs> How much of this is just because Olympic judo isn't like old school judo? Is this kind of like the equivalent of how the Olympics have unfortunately made karate and taekwondo not as formidable as before? Is this a judo example? So let's look at what happens next. Okay, after another break, here they go. Judoka, man, you got to go for the legs. Do what the jujitsu guys did in UFC. Like, don't you judokas know any of the leg takedowns? Probably not, right? Because then it would look too much like wrestling and that's why... He almost took another cross, man. Dude, no single legs, ankle picks, double legs, nothing, man. What about taking the back? Come on, Judo. You guys taught Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu all this stuff. What happened to all this stuff that... Oh, this is... Yeah, I might be leaning towards... This is more a representation of how the Olympics have destroyed Judokas, as in their skill set. Boxer's getting a little tired, though. Look at Judoka. Still dazed from the punch. Look at this. Look at this. So in a moment of comedy, the judoka, or maybe the ref, asked the boxer to put on a gi. So now let's look at what changes once you have the gi. <laughs> boxer now with the gi. Judoka got more things to grab. Let's see if judoka can go in. So boxer, man, keep going at the face. Keep hitting his face. It worked the first few times. Oh my god, see? Boxer's already getting scared because you see the sleeve? Now the boxer's sleeves can get grabbed. And I'm sure... The gi reduces your ability to extend in your boxing, right? This is not fair. But then you could argue that why did boxer get gloves, right? Oh, nice cross to the face, uh, to the body, sorry. Another cross to the... Oh, Judoka got it. He got a lapel. Oh, but boxer, boxer took... Look at that. Just some punches to the face. Removes his grip. But for a second there, the oh, he, he still has the lapel. Never mind, he still has the lapel. Look at that. Boxer's getting really scared. Boxer's getting scared. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh. Judoka is just like iron face technique while he claims the lapel. Look at that. Oh my goodness, dude. Boxer might win out. Boxer might win out. Boxer's... Oh my god. Look at that. Um, if Judoka can grab another sleeve or grab something, he needs another grip, man. Or, I don't know, clinch or something. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Ooh. He got him. Yep. He got him. <laughs> Look at, yeah, see, he needed another, another handle, right? Yeah, he got, he got sort of the, um, the armpit area. He got him, he got him. Look at that. Look at the boxer. Judoka's like, I'm gonna punish you for hitting me so many times in the face. Oh my goodness, Judoka. Look at that. Judoka's like, I'm done. I'm done. 
Debate away in the comment section, please. Just keep it PG, okay? But seriously, I think this raises a lot of good, genuine concern. Thing that we hold for granted that the grappler will win 90% of the time. It's not true. There's so much context to this. And obviously, if you put people in a cage where there's no platform to push people off, it's just they go and they can stuff each other and wrestle on the cage. In those cases, it will end up on the ground unless the person has really good takedown defense. But then when the rules aren't aren't designed for you to stay in a grapple, I think the figure is not as high. Again, I'm not saying jujitsu is useless. I'm not saying judo is useless. In 60 to 70% of the cases, it will end up on the ground, but I don't think it's a given victory for the grappler. This is another example of this. Anyways, guys, you let me know what you think. I will link the original video and the channel in the description and the pinned comments. We will talk soon. I really want to hear what you have to say. Okay, make sure to press like. If you're not subscribed to Fight Commentary Breakdowns, make sure to subscribe. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.